Caution, learn at your own risk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, it's Jade Alicia and it's nice to meet you. Today we have this pre-everything 26 inch wig from West Kids Hair. It is very full and shout out to y'all for curling the hair. This is pre-bleached and pre-plucked and it is fire. Now to learn. First, I always start off by wiping off my forehead with either a makeup wipe or alcohol. And then I go in with my Ruby Kisses in the number 14 and I just put it all over my ball cap. And if you need a tutorial on this, I will do it for you. Just let me know. And then I go in with my glue of choice, which is that one. And I just do dots because it's easier. And when you do the dots, it's basically like you're playing connect the dots. And this way you don't get the glue everywhere. I know some people have problems with glue being um, still showing once you put the lace on this way mm -mm, you get that exact hairline and i do this three times to make sure i get the ultimate melt but this is because i use a pretty good glue that don't need the extra holes because it really does its job and it's from illuminous looks on instagram and i do just take whatever's around me and kind of just fan it to get it to dry and there go a moment for me and i take that same ruby kisses and put it all into my lace and now we're getting into that melt so you see right here since i plucked it i'm just following along exactly where i put that glue at and I also don't put it over. I put it right there. So whatever is left over, you normally just have to cut it with no problem. But first, I'm going to melt my lace and let that sit for some time, about 30 minutes. And then I take it off. I still want to push all of my hairs back again, just in case anything moved out of place or anything. Because when you go to cutting it, you don't want to accidentally cut some lace that you would need for the install. And then boom, you will feel like you messed up your entire install. But no fear. That's why your girl Jay is here. Then I just go in and just put me some little clips in because I hate when the hair getting away and I do not want to cut my inches. So first, I always start with the ear tabs because that's typically the most annoying. And this is what will make that lace lift the longer you keep those little ear pieces that don't fit. And here I'm just pushing the lace into my skin because I need it melted. And I start, I cut, I do cut with a razor because this gives it that razory effect and it don't, you know, look choppy from the scissors cutting straight across. But if you do need to use scissors, just cut like itty bitty small triangles or zigzags and you'll pretty much get the same results. And now I'm going in and melting my lace. I do spray it on my finger. Here's two ways. You could spray it and dry it if you're a beginner. I do prefer this way for you and then for the other side I just spray it on my finger push it into the lace and then I dry it this way but if you don't know what you're doing please follow the first method and here I'm taking that same ruby kisses and I'm pressing it all up in there and then I go back in and I you know just comb from the spray I just comb it out make sure it's nice and fluffy still because I don't like a hard install I do love my installs to be as soft as possible and that is a great trick right there start from the middle of your nose and part part it straight across but also this is the guide that you're going to use when it's time to do your baby hairs because you're going to start in that middle and then go off to the side you want to like measure about the whole front of the rat tail comb like you see there and then start from where the tip of the rat tail comb ends and that way you you're measuring your baby hairs and you get the same exact thing on both sides and with baby hairs it's pretty repetitive um if you pluck it correctly your baby hairs will be the right size and you don't have to go back in and plug them and after I pull out the baby hairs of my desire, I do go in, I hot comb them as straight as possible. I almost want it to look like I gave my baby hairs a perm. And because after that, when you go in to curl those baby hairs, you don't want nothing out of place and you want to be able to see every little piece. And I always, in the midst of my installs, do me a little dance like you see, but I also push all the hair back every chance I get. And right here, you might see the lace a little bit, but that's nothing because we will melt it one more time once we get those baby hairs down. And you kind of, I don't, if I'm being honest with you guys, I don't know if you could always measure your baby hairs to be perfectly the same. To me, I feel like they're just like eyebrows. They're sisters, not twins. But we do try to match them as close as possible. That is why you should use my little method. And I do recommend this curling iron you can find at your local beauty supply. It is the best ever. Here, I'm just combing out my baby hairs first, placing them to where I want them to go. And this is the ultimate tip. 
<laughs> if you want the soft, fluffy, cute baby hairs, you go and you lay out how you want your baby hairs first. Yes, they're going to fly. Yes, they're not going to stick because, duh, we haven't put anything on them. But also, this is just like a, a template, like a guide, a stencil to get, you know, spray the ones we want. And right here, as you can see, I made a funny face because I sprayed too much. You do not want to soak the baby hairs you just want to spray as little as possible but enough to cover it and if you do run into this problem kind of just like bro dry it a little bit once the baby hair is intact like so or you could just wait and let it dry up just a little bit and then start your molding and then like here baby hairs are not something you're gonna get the first try guys um just go in keep brushing keep brushing until you feel like you got that perfect one and then you move on for sideburns it's always easy because once you like mold it and you spray it they're pretty much right in a spot that they need to be but for me unfortunately my heavy hand sprayed too much spray, so I am suffering the consequences. As you saw, my um, sideburn was curling up a little bit or moving too much. But to fix that, you just take your blow dryer again and blow dry. And here I'm doing the same thing as I did on the other side. But as you guys can see, I'm making sure I do not have boneless edges. I went in. I use me some more spray and I'm going to connect them baby hairs. Do not leave your baby hairs like that. Make sure they are connected and molded because when you comb these out, if you leave it like that, those are results that you're going to get. Period. Straight up. Like, I don't know how many times I can, like, I don't know. Y'all, please connect your baby hairs. Please feed your baby hairs into the hair. This is one install and not two. And same thing for the sideburn over here. This one was a little bit more easier and it's a little bit more thicker. That's why I say like you can never measure baby hairs. But for me, I honestly don't care. I like my stuff to be wild. I like it to be cute. I like it to be fluffy. I don't want it to look uniform. I want it to look like probably I just rolled out of bed. Like natural bed hair, cute vibes, you know, something. And here I'm taking that same spray on my finger again. And this time I'm just pressing it all up into the lace because I need my lace to melt. Like this is what melt number three. Yes, because why? Say it with me. We need that lace to melt in here. I folded my West Kiss elastic band in half and I'm just putting it on and I'm going to pull it as tight as possible. And y'all, I cannot believe they curled this hair this good. Like I could leave this hair just like this when I'm done. Literally, like that is gorgeous. I really want y'all to go get this wig. Um, the link is gonna be in my bio and down below because this is a 10 out of 10 and I'm not even done. But guys, that wax stick is my holy girl. This wig came pre everything and it really was flat, but I need mine flatter and I'm already doing my hair. So why not make it flatter, period. <laughs> y'all see my dance moment of silence for me because I'm the prettiest in my world. Yeah, but here I'm getting back to the other side. I did use my wax stick first, just getting it as flat as possible because I like to wear my hair behind my ear sometimes and I don't want it to give helmet. I don't want it to give fat, chunky. I need a slim, <laughs> stuttering and all. And there I just sprayed my hairspray. We're not even girls, but I'm almost to the end of the bottle. Here, whew, that's a relief, baby. That edge bend was tearing my ears up, but let's get into that lace already. And here, guys, you're just going to see me doing a lot of the same repetitive things. I'm going on each side, left and right, and parting about three to four parts and using my wax stick while I'm going in. And I'm hot combing each piece. This is the way you'll get the flattest. Like, I guarantee you, like, if you buy this wig and then you follow all of these steps, or even if you have your own wig and you follow these steps, especially that hot comb and wax stick combination, not too much, though. You see, I'm only getting in the roots. If you follow that, your install will be so flat. And I do want to talk about my baby hairs right here. As you can see, the little right there, it's a bit separated, not on purpose, and I did not do it like that. But I am going to comb out my baby hairs, so that's going to give it the fluffiness that I need, and then I could connect it right then. Now, I close my tweezers and literally just slide it through my part, and this give me that bone part that I need to go in and... You know, take that same Ruby Kisses and slide it through this part because I'm going to define my part. And yes, I use mascara because I don't, the spray, the part gets too skinny for me and I want mine to still look, you know, a bit natural. And the spray is messy as well. And this mascara is just, it's just my holy grail. As y'all can see, I'm getting that up in there. And now up into these layers. Here, I just, as you can see, split two even sides and that is going to be my guide. 
um just taking my razor comb this is the easiest way to laser if you really don't know how to use scissors and just slice down but not too hard and then you follow the guide of that and just make the layer period i will do a more in-depth video for my girls that are confused and boom i'm showing y'all like i could have left the hair like that but i did take two of the pieces in the front and the one more towards the back i flipped it under to give it that body and that bounce that i really love and i need like y'all when it comes to a curl i'm gonna do my big one but west kids did they bigger one like imagine doing you a real quick install and you just gotta throw two curls in there and the rest is curled well four curls for each side but still like yes ma'am and here on the top of my curls right here i flipped it the other way so that the curls don't fold up towards my face and i give like granny church girl we don't want that y'all we want baddie we want it's 7 p.m friday and there i just sprayed my little melting spray and kind of just like push my hair back and molded it in place to give it that definition and here i use my oil sheen that i love baby and boom these are the results like i really hope that i helped you guys master or install if not you could come in or dm me any questions that you have and i will be sure to help you bye bye bye